Hey, what's going on? All right, so how y'all doing? My name is uh, Rodney M. C. Shaky Russo. I am the president and founder of Submission Family and Agency here on Beagle. And um, I'm going to talk a little today about how to make Coindella or Cashella on this app if you don't understand anything. So this is not for somebody that like really just comes on and does content. This is for people that have zero content and um, they have zero content and just have no, and just come into a little investment in themselves. Um, Ocasta 50, no, I did not talk to her this morning. Uh, also, I'm kind of doing a little thing right now where it's being screen recorded for the YouTube. So um, I am in the Beagle ecosystem right now, so that's why you see stuff flying. I definitely want people to get used to stuff flying and stuff like that. Also, if you have any questions, head over to SignatureAgency.com and you can get questions answered there. Also, it gives links to our WhatsApp, which is a lot of information if you need to talk to somebody directly that's in our agency, myself or our admins uh, currently that's uh, Finette, that is unique and that's classy and they do a wonderful job. They know the app inside and out and that's the thing. The video when it comes in to play. Now, excuse my look right now. I really just got out the tub and so I'm like, I just got out of the tub. I just, it was a soaking bath. Excuse the way I look. And I know I'm talking business right now in my bonnet and my robe. But generally speaking, probably this is when you make the most money in on Beagle is when you're just chilling in your bonnet and your robe. Now again, this is for not the people that do the content. This is people that are investing and try to explain something to y'all. Thank you so much, y'all. I appreciate y'all. Double tap and share the live. And don't be mean to the girl of bean because I'm actually giving you information on how you can get your own bean. All right, so Beagle, of course, at Root is a live streaming platform. You got to think of Beagle like it's like Twitch mixed with IG mixed with the talk mixed with the tube. Like if you took all those apps together and put them in kind of one, that's kind of what Beagle is. Like it's like a little bit of everything. It's like they took what they liked out of all those apps, put it together and made an app. And so this is what this app is at Root. It's the app for for you to share lights on. You can make posts, you can do a lot of stuff, you can play the games, you can do a lot of stuff on Beagle. It's a lot of stuff here to do. And people don't realize that. I know we hear a lot about the mess and stuff and the drama, but guess what? Beagle has a lot of stuff to do. So don't hesitate to get around and find stuff on Beagle to do. Like don't just sit down on Beagle and just say, okay, look, I'm gonna just be involved and, and do this. There's so much other stuff to do on Beagle. A lot of times I'll be online doing other stuff and people don't even realize it. I'm in this room listening, looking at the, I love the, I am in love with the cooking stuff right now, like for real. Like I don't cook, but I like watching them cook for some reason. It's so satisfying. I have no idea why that is. But the cooking shows on Beagle, Beagle is actually looking probably to have its first three million cooking hosts, and I'm so proud of that. And that's congratulations to uh, that chef and all the ones that's doing that thing on Beagle because it's so satisfying. I have no idea why that is. I don't cook a thing that they're cooking, but I will watch them cook all day. So those people are the content people and shout out to them they're doing their thing. So this, what I'm about to talk about is like the, the, just the method, methodology on, on how you can profit on Beagle. All right. So if you're looking to make a million dollars, a million quarter in two seconds, continue just watching on the app, period. However, if you are in a position, this is the ideal position for investors. You're just not really interested much in content, but you have enough prowess to get the hours done that you need to do, but have, and do have something that you can invest in yourself. This is what this is for you. Yes, um, you can always go to SipNationAgency.com and find all of the videos that I've done. So this is not a scam class. This is not a scam class. I don't do scam classes. Uh, this is a class just telling you how the Beagle method works. This is certainly not a scam class. Everything I'm talking about is legitimate and legal to do for yourself, whether you're in simulation agency or in any. Um, yeah, I don't have, I didn't get that. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, so if you have questions about that, stuff that's just not what we're talking about um and please just please delete those people expeditiously queen petty that's just not what we're talking about here okay all right so if you come on beagle 
right? Uh, and you, the, the only way that you're actually going to make money on Bigo is through your rebates, okay? You're not going to make any money on Bigo sitting on a panel. Now, if you're doing content, that's different. But for my non-content people, you're not going to make any money sitting on the panel doing a swap. You're not going to make any money on Beagle sitting um, in your single live and swapping with You're not going to make any money like that. The only way you're going to ever make money on Beagle is through a rebate. And in order to get a rebate, you have to do a PK. Do y'all understand that? You have to do a PK. There is no other way. Now, Beagle does have solo uh, PK rebates and PK the uh, rebates for solo PKs sometimes, and um, Beagle does have rebates for certain things, but those are ad hoc, meaning Beagle puts them up and takes them down sometimes and come in. This is not about that. I'm talking about at root bare bones. You're not going to make a penny off of yourself unless you do a PK. That's just it. So if you don't want to do a PK, then get out your feelings <laughs> and do your PKs because you're going to have to do them. To sign up, there are two types of PKs on Beagle. There's an agency PK and there's a family PK. Both of those PKs come with rebates. There are different rebates for different PKs. I do a video that talks about the PKs. I'm going to actually link that video in the description down so you can see exactly what a PK is and how to sign up for one. And I actually do a little mini PK to show you exactly what it is and what you have to do with a PK. So I won't be asking the PK questions here. But I will give you an example of what someone can honestly expect to do or make um, on a actual PK or make actually um, doing what they do. So. So say for instance, let's just say for instance, all right, I'm going to use this as an example, all right? There was a PK that I was a part of yesterday. I was the stand-in for the PK for with Summer. I don't know if y'all remember that, but it was on yesterday, all right? And so the PK was a 70% PK, winner take all, which is good. That's a good rebate. Anything above 60% is nice. You want to get a higher rebate PKs if you can. 70, 80, 90, maybe 100% rebate. There's some 75 and 85% rebate PKs, and there's some 60, 10 split PKs, meaning they're 60%. So what those percentage means is this. For every bean that you receive up to the max, you will get back that amount up to the max. All right, so understand this. The, the PK yesterday was a 70% PK with, I believe, 100,000 B max. And so she needed 14 dragons to get back the rebate, which was the percentage too. All right. So what that means is 14 dragons. Let's do the math on that. I'm going to put that in my calculator. You can use your calculator too if you need some time to get it and you understand that. So 14 dragons times 200 is about $2,800. So what happened was she made her swaps and did everything she had to do because she needed $2,800. What she got back off of that was twenty eight hundred times point seventy, which was nineteen sixty. So understand that. So this is how this works for her, and how this worked for her, and how she made a profit. Understand? Okay, she made a profit only through the rebate. Let's say, for instance, she invested at twenty eight hundred dollars on herself which is what they do sometimes on this app. It makes sense, especially for uh, when you're trying to get to certain goals. So 14 dragons is 140K beans, 140K beans that she received toward her quota. So that's number one. That's big stuff. That's, uh, that's 140,000 beans toward her quota. Big stuff. So she probably went up on that. She got 25% of the $2,800 right then there in her account times 0.25. So she got $700. So she got 700. So what she got? Well, she got $700 in her account right in there. All right. She's gotten another. She got the 140,000 beans that's coming to her account that's coming to her quota that she'll get a check for at the end of the month. Uh, I'm sure that's not going to be her main quota, but let's just say it was. 
that will put her at um, the. Oh, I'm gonna say that. Okay. Also, too, they had a um a, a new thing come out. I'm going by the old one because it's similar, but let's go to the um. I'm gonna go by the old one because I think it's similar, but I don't have a new one in front of me. They sent it to me, and I just didn't look at it yet. So, but let's just say, for instance, so the 140k quarter. Let's just say that's all she does for the month. So that we put it at 130. 130, that means she give a payout of eleven $1 hundred dollars. So eleven $1 hundred plus seven hundred. So it's gonna be like eighteen hundred and twenty dollars. But that's still a thousand dollars missing. Let me show you where she's gonna get the profit from and how much she's gonna probably actually profit. All right. And that's only if she just did that quarter. That's the minimum. All right, so she gets a thousand. She gets 100,000 beans, which is equivalent to about 10 dragons. That's like 10 dragons thrown on her. So if that's the bean quota for the 100,000, now she has to wait on this because it's a rebate, but usually they try to do all the rebates at the end of the month. Usually it can take uh, some time. If you don't miss, if you're missing a rebate, but you've done everything, there's uh, a form you fill out with your family leader or your agency leader. You fill the form out. It's also available in the family toolkit. Either way, you can get that form and they generally send your email rebate generally like 30 days let's just say for instance so this the only so she's gonna get back a total if that's all she does she's gonna get back a total of 1800 on her 2800 so listen a hundred thousand beans is about 10 dragons that's 10 dragons 10k beans as if they were thrown on you and so if you do that so if you do 10 dragons like 250 2500 that's what she's waiting on about well, 10, let's do about time 200. So 10 times two, two, two well, obviously 2,000, my bad. So that's an additional $2,000 worth of beans that she's waiting on. That's how her, her profit. So if you take the 1,000 off that to equal up to what she initially put in for herself, $2,800, you got a, about $1,000 worth of beans waiting on. That's how, the only way you could profit on Beagle. That is the only way you profit on Beagle. If you're not doing content to where people are giving you organic support you have to invest in yourself but the only so it's about the timing you have to top, you have to do the timing which is the right do it completely right and so the the, the thing that you want to be focused on the most is not doing it the wrong way you have to do it like this you have to sign up for your pk you have to show up to your pk you have to sit in your PK. You have to make sure all your swaps and everything that you have done, all your fufu pages or whatever it is that you have to get to you up to that level and the max out is done at the PK. Then you have to wait in the PK until it comes down to the end. You have to take the screenshot to show that you were in the PK, you won the PK, and that you got the amount that you need. That's for your proof and as well as gives your family leaders and agency leaders a leg to stand on when you have a if you if you should have an issue with the rebate and then the next thing you have to have this is what you have to have patience because you're not going to get the money back until the rebate hits you're not making money until you get the rebate that's just it for people that think you're just going to sit on the live and sit on these panels and swap stuff and all this stuff like that um you're not gonna you're not gonna make the money thank you gifter appreciate you you might not get, I was going to block you for, since from yesterday, but I appreciate you coming through and giving a gift. I think you was just trolling, but I appreciate the way you troll. <laughs> you can't, at least you came up with some foolishness that I would allow me to cuss you back out. Oh, you're not on that anymore? Okay, gotcha. All right. So anyway, um, Vine, what's going on? Good, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So that's how you, the next, yes, the next part about that is patience. Don't invest $2,800 into yourself if you're going to need it next month. Because let me show you why. And I'm going to give you the best example why not. That's what it is. Okay? So, she's gotten a, a little profit. Roughly $1,000. I think it's going to be a little less than I think it's going to be like $960. But let's just round it up for $1,000 for my math and your math because I'm not good with math. Alright. So, this is what it is. Now, you initially had $2,800 to invest in yourself. Now, you've accumulated next month 
3,800 to invest with yourself. If you take that 38 dollars and flip it, then get that 3,800 dollars and flip it. Cause don't take it out if you can. If you need to pay your bills, take it out, pay your bills. I'm not gonna never talk about that. But if you had 3,800 dollars, now you got 3,800 dollars worth of beans to invest. You can make a swap and do with them 3,800, and you can do that more. And you could probably make instead of making a thousand or near a thousand dollars for that you did last month, you could probably make 1,200 dollars. Now you add that $1,200 to $3,800. Now you got five grand to flip. Now you take the five grand and you flip, you could probably make $5,400. Not $5,400. You could probably make $1,400 off the, of the five. And so now you have $6,400. And that's how you do this every month. The, like any investment, any investment, any investment, the longer you can leave it in, the more you'll have to flip with it. You can buy this bonnet at SipNationGear.com. Oh, no, at SipCosmetics.net. I'm sorry. SipCosmetics.net. I do have this bonnet for sale. I think it's like $10, 12 uh, And it'll ship right to you. Um, so that's the best way to do. You take your interest or take your profit and you compound. However, if you just want to constantly live off that one thing, just do that same thing every month. And that could be kind of like disposable income to you. So instead of taking off, you still do the same thing with the $2,800, remove you about $800. That's $800 of disposable income that you made off the 28. Leave the 28 on in and do that every month. But you'll have to try to get that same type of PK every single month. I do recommend people, especially when it's your first month, I don't recommend you doing anything. I recommend you just chilling. Patience is a virtue. I, I, I want a million off of here. If you want a million off of here, then you have to be on here 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You better start coming on every two seconds. Get on this panel. I do a video about networking that you probably want to look at. Uh, it's available at simulationagency.com. It talks about networking, sitting on panels, and doing stuff like that. So if you want the million off of here, uh, you gotta, you gotta come on. You gotta be on here a lot. You, every, the months that the months I hit three million, I was on his 60, 70, 80 hours that month. <laughs> so don't. I was on here like it was a job. I was cussing out everybody. I was sitting on this panel, sitting on that panel, doing all kind of stuff. You have to work. This is a job. You're an independent contractor. So, so what I was talking about, so if you just want that a little bit, that's cool. But I'm just telling y'all what could possibly happen if you, yeah, it's, I'm, it's never easy, but it's doable. Yes. All right. So, so also the percentages part, as we're nearing the end of the month, make sure that your percentages are not in agency percentages or not out of region being percentages. These are two reasons why someone don't get paid. Big to big reasons. If your in agency percentages are high, you won't get paid. Meaning, if you're in the same agency, you won't. So, for my people that's in my agency, what I do is I look at them and I might go throw on them myself because my host page, this page, is not in their agency. The Sip Nation agency, this this my host page, my that you're watching me on now is actually in uh, Keys agency, and my agents are in Sip Nation agency, so it doesn't count for cross percentages, which is good. And so I can come throwing them as I need to. And usually I try to, so I don't have an issue personally. My agents, my hosts don't have an issue with um, in agency percentages. But please, please, please watch your out of region being percentages. Because a lot of times when you do your fan lotteries, a lot of times when you're going to sit on panels, you're just going around, a lot of those, sometimes those beans come from out of region. And um, it's like a lot, it's only like 18 or 16 countries that we can receive from this in agents like US, Canada, UK and stuff like that. But if it's coming from Pakistan, Afghanistan and all these other different places, because these people do give you, it will count as out of region. And that can mess up your percentages and your pay could go down to the next level. It's happened several times. Um, people haven't realized. And so keep an eye on that. They tell you that every week. I don't see, um, as I looked at the numbers uh, Friday for my people, I didn't see too much of that, but um, that's a thing that can happen. So um, the next thing I want to talk about real quick, real quick is what people are, they're, they're confused on what to do with, with the money they're getting out at 25%. Uh, so if someone sends you a dragon right now, which is you'll get about fifty some dollars and fifty four dollars roughly in your fifty four dollars worth of beans in your you get twenty five hundred beans right uh that's that's available to you right now and people are saying should I cash that out can I use that would it mess up my pay no it won't if you get a dragon right now which is ten k ten k worth of beans you'll get that right now and it also goes to your quota right now it doesn't it doesn't affect your quota that money you can use you can cash out you can sort of people do convert it and flip it back to make 
to try to climb up the tiers. And this is what you want to do as always, especially if you're, if you're getting, um, if you're getting gifted now and you have a few gifts and you have some things and you're a thing that you can do, always take that. I, I, my general rule is I count that as my play money. And I say play money is meaning as money in play. Meaning I don't do, I don't, me personally, I don't withdraw until I get paid on the end of the month. Some people like to withdraw that immediately, but remember you can only withdraw once a week and you can only withdraw up to $5,000 a week and anything over $1,000 can take longer. So, if, but if you have that little money, so I don't even mess with that. I take that and I throw that back in order to get thrown back on so that I can get to a higher quota. So that that check at the end of the month comes. Now remember, somebody said rebates, 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 rebates. You're gonna be, this get, This is, a, Bigo is like a game and you're chasing rebates. That's the whole point. You want your PKs, you want your rebates, especially if you're some um, a person that's not doing content. For the people that are doing content and then doing a, a blend of both, you'll have some, because you're doing content and you're sitting and you're doing your stuff, generally speaking, you have some money and nothing to play with. I would just take that. Anything that my people have ever sent me have always I've used to get to another level and say, okay, well, what's the next level? All right, so what can I do with this? When can I make a swap? Where can I do a thing that could get me to the next? So if you get 24K, you can't, if you get, yes, if you hit 24,000, the most you're going to get out that month is 20,000 because you can only take out 5,000 a month. Uh, with the exception of this, if you, if you, with this exception, this is the only exception to this. If you hit 3 million three times in a row, they'll let you take out 15,000 starting on that fourth month. Uh, per week is it better to, it's always easier to convert it's always better to convert if you don't need it to pay your bill it's better to convert the only thing that you're taking off and putting it back on is that you making them richer and not only that it's, it helps you with i mean it does if you need svip press or something like that but um yeah so how you get the rest you wait till the next week so if you hit 24k that means you've gotten $24,000 worth of beans in your account. You withdraw five, 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 and four. That's how you want to do it if you want to withdraw it out. But usually if you made a three million quota, nine times out of 10, you've probably had to trade something. Uh, excuse me, nine times out of 10, you'd have probably had to swap something. And so that other 4K is probably what you swap it anyway to make it again next month. So generally speaking, um, yeah. What are, are VIP points? VIP points are, um, they're used to do special things. Unbanning is the most common thing. Changing your BOID is another. You can change it one time for free, but if you want to change it again, it costs up as VIP points uh, to get whitelisted, to have a banner float, and just different things. If you go to the SVIP menu on your homepage, you'll see. Is it the same in the UK? I'm not 100% certain about how the UK works. I don't have any UK hosts and I've never been there. No, no, no. Only 5000 a week is allowed, Ms. Roman. 5000 a week is allowed. Yeah, it's 5000 a week. You can withdraw up to 5000 a week. So, okay, so how do you earn VIP price? By recharging. Recharging. Um, I know some people that make a side hustle. What they do is um, they withdraw. And they load up their backup page, their backup fufu count, whatever you want to call it, and or their family page or whatever the case may be. And what they do is have that page have a lot of VIP points and sells the VIP points and makes a little side hustle. Some people do that. That can change if you hit three million consecutively. Yes, if you hit three million three times in a row, three months in a row, on the fourth month, they'll let you withdraw fifteen thousand a week. Becoming a host, you have to join. No, you do not have to join a family being a host. But it's very strongly advisable that you join a family. And let me tell you why. Because um, your agency only has so many PKs a month. Your family has unlimited PKs a month. <laughs> so um, your agency has something. It's like an 80-20 something split for agency that you have to do. I'm not 100% certain what it is right now. But your family can do 1,000 PKs. So definitely... Definitely join a family. Find some like-minded people that think like you and join a family. I do have a family, a uh, Sip Nation family. Um, so it's the the co-founder of the family is actually in here right now. Her name is Finette. 
Um, and she's also an admin in an agency as well. So she can tell you from both standpoints what, what is what. But um, so, yeah, join the family. No problem, Kimmy Five. So can you just go live without being a host? Yes, but it's so, but Felicia, let me explain something to you. It's the dumbest thing in the world to go live without being a host. And let me tell you why. Because if somebody sends you, uh, somebody sends you $100 when you're live, not as a host, that means that you're going to get $25 and Bego is going to get $75. If at least as a host, you have an action <laughs> at that $75, it's a waste of time. If you're going to go live, be a host and make your money. It makes no sense. It does not make sense for you to do that. That's the dumbest thing in the world. It is the, and being a coming host is the easiest thing in the world. You have to do a host audition, which is stupid. How do I go live as a host? You press the live button. If you go live without being a host, you're giving up seventy-five dollars, seventy-five cents on every dollar that is sent to you for that. That is so. That is the craziest thing in the world. I love Bigo to death, but goddamn, they're already rich. <laughs> To be a host, you can go to SipNationAgency.com, check it out, and sign up to become a host with SipNation Agency, period. <laughs> yeah, don't, you're wasting your time and everybody's time if you are trying to be, go live without being a host. Like, what is the point? Makes no sense. Um, It's right there. It's right here. SipNationAgency.com. SipNationAgency.com. What do you think about the new tier chart? Uh, I reviewed it. I think that it's it's just a new tier chart. How has your agency been going so far? It's been going great. We have some great hosts. We have some great content giving hosts. Uh, we're gonna get a, we have a few big hosts. Uh, we're gonna actually Sukiana Sukiana the Goat is actually joining our agency. She'll be doing her host audition today at four Eastern, one Pacific, three Central. So uh, it's gonna be great. Would you suggest to go live to get a following up and then create a new page, then become a host? No. Nope. I remember, I recommend doing all your work on your host page. Makes no sense. Honestly, I know we talked about it, but did you ever get a response back from people? I never got a response back about you. Uh, I'll send them again. Can you join a family and have a family with the same page? Yes. Yes. Can you join a family and have a family with the same page? What should be jo like join? No, 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 no. I'm sorry. I think I gave you the wrong answer just now. I, I think you mean like, so I'm in a simulation family and it's my family that I created on my page. Yes, you can do that. Can you join a family for somebody else and be in somebody and make your own family? No. I've been looking for someone to go live other than Beagle. Well, they get off of here because this is what we're talking about. We're talking about Beagle. So can I just join the agency and what? So can I just join? Yeah, I would just, you know what I would do? I obviously can't find nothing on you. I would just make a new page and, and, and join. Can you have a family and not the host? Can you have a family and not the host? I don't understand that question for you repeating. You can't be in two families, no. Can you have a family and not the host? I don't understand that question. How do you connect your screen to YouTube while you go live on here? When you are in panel mode, you can press the three lines at the bottom and it will have a YouTube thing. What advice do you give to new agency owners? As myself being a new agency owner, uh, I'm also a new agency owner. My agency is only a month old tomorrow, actually. So my, no, it's on the 28th technically. I got my agency on the day before Christmas, but I didn't start doing uh, host auditions since the 28th. So, it's the 24th today. So I, I consider the 28th my birthday for agency. I didn't do, I, I waited three days so I could learn everything and understand everything. Um, but I guess the advice I can give is be communicative. Try to be as communicative as possible. It's very difficult dealing with a lot of people, but try to be, it's, it's, that's the thing. I, like I, I see kind of like what Brandon goes through now, but you have to be communicative. You have to communicate. Like everything can be understood. Nine hosts don't get approved for their own family. For real? So listen, this is my thing. Just listen to me, y'all. Honestly, to be real with y'all, I think everybody should just be a host. 
I don't see what's the reason of not being a host. Like a non-host, I don't get it. I don't get the point of not being a host right now. Like if I'm just sitting out chilling, like I just recommend everybody be a host. I get it if you just like to give people and that's cool. But if you're talking about getting a family and you're talking about starting a family and you're talking about doing it, be a host. I don't even understand like what's the point of not being a host. Like I want to be, I, I, like I want to have a family and I want to be on the app and I want to be doing this, but I don't want to be a host. And a lot of times if you, like I don't get it. Like I don't understand, like y'all have to make me understand like why is that even a thing? A question. So if you're more of a behind a scene type person, I get it. But why would you want a family? Why would you want to own a family and not be a host? Why would you want to own an agency and not be a host? Why would you want to do these things? So okay, to be in my family, just hit the hit my name, go down to where it says Sip Nation, um, Sip Nation Challenger One. Hit that. Scroll down. It'll say something to the effect of uh, request to join. You hit request to join, and you become the family. To be a host, go to SipNationAgency.com. Or hit up a recruiter and it could guide you on a step away. But how are you going to teach your host if you're not even a host? Are there benefits of joining an agency? The only way you could be a host is to be in an agency. <laughs> There's no other way. There's no host on this app that's not in someone's agency. Not one. I've been a host for a few months and can't seem to get quota. What's your advice? Uh, to invest in yourself. Take advantage of a lot of the free stuff that they got give, like the participation PKs, uh, the little mukbangs, and all this other little foolishness that they have every month. Take advantage of those things. Sign up for live houses to, so that you can get word about what else. And look at your content. Is your content consistency consistent? Is your content like 100% consistent? Like if you like on Tuesdays at 3 o'clock, you say that's what you're going to be doing, do it. So I'm in your family, so do I still come under you to be a host? You can, I mean, you should, Felicia. Yes. What well, theme PKs and friendly costs now, LOL. Okay. What other methods do I suggest to get your tier up fast? Investing yourself is probably the easiest way. The second way is, is to get yourself out there. Go sit on the panels, do the matches, things like that. Those are very important things to do. Um, align yourself with the right people. Networking. I have a video about this and why it's important. And networking on this app is 100%. Uh, important. So people don't know about you if you're just sitting on your live doing you. So to, you got to get out there and do stuff. You got to, like, if you're just sitting on your live doing you thinking it's going to, you're going to eat it up, you're not. You have to network. You have to network. It's just mandatory. Is going on panels the best way? No, it's not. There's a million ways to skin a cat. Going on panels is one way. Going to certain people's lives is another. Uh, signing up for the live house is another. Signing up for those PKs is another. Matching is another. Lining is another. There's several ways to skin a cat. It's not just one thing, whatever. It's like you got to find ways that fit your need. Consistency is another. If you're consistent, that's another. If you just sit on your single live, the only people going to see you is the people that's on your single live. You have to go out there and network. You have to network. If on this app, if you're looking forward to, if you have content, do you have to go promote that content? It's mandatory. You have to do that. Good morning. And consistency is important. You have to work at this. Y'all think you're just going to get it up? I don't know who told y'all that. I hate that they told y'all that. But if every day I have to wake up, if you want to join my family, you just go ahead and hit my name up here at the top left, I guess right or something. Uh, hit my name. Go down, you'll see something that says uh, request to join. If you go to Sip Nation Challenger 1 and you can just request to join. Good morning. How to promote content? Well, the first thing to do is get a flyer, have it on your page, go sit on panels with your flyer, ask if you can talk about it to the, the person that's hosting the live. Can I talk about this? Can I talk about that? And get out there and promote it. Promote it also on your other social media channels. If you have social media networks on IG and Twitter and stuff like that, promote it. Let people know, look, I'm over here doing this. Post it to your bar. Like, wear it. Advertise it. It's not rocket science. It's simple. You just go tell people about it. You, come, you, you see some lives pop and come up, hey, you mind if I come? Like, if somebody come up to me and say, look, you mind if I come talk about something? I was like, I don't mind. And I let them up most of the time. And most people, if you ask, well, not. There's some assholes on the app that ain't gonna let you talk about whatever you want to talk about. But most of the time, if you just ask, just you know, what's up, y'all? Oh, y'all, and, and then find people that are doing something similar and go sit over there. 
And so say for instance, you got, I'm just use, I'm going back to the cooking thing, but it could be anything. But say for instance, you're doing, I'm gonna use something else. I don't because I've been using the cooking thing too much. But let's just say for instance, um, it's astrology and tarot. So find the girls that's doing astrology and tarot, go sit over there, talk to them. And when you up there talking to them, say, look, oh yeah, y'all don't forget, I do it on Tuesdays, y'all come over to my panel. And so the people that like that type of stuff or may they have be, they'll, they'll come to you too. Don't think, like a lot of people think it's only one thing, it's only one thing and we're all in competition. A lot of people view it like that. I don't, per, I don't per se, but I mean, people do, whatever. But it just makes sense to like, I don't want to advertise what I'm doing with people that's looking at for what I'm doing. If it was a cooking thing, if your stuff is like talk show type stuff, Go to the girls that's doing the talk shows. Go, hey, can I come up real quick? Oh, yeah, y'all talk about this. Add your input. Yeah, y'all talk about Because if you're content driven, you can't be scared to give, to give content. So they're talking about, I don't know, they talk about the celebrity gossip. And so you you jump up there and say, well, I think Beyonce really did it. And so don't forget yet, yeah, because on Tuesdays, I do it on my page. It's You have to market yourself. This is a business. You have to get out there and get it. I, I literally, I literally, came on this app that knew nothing and was sitting in my own little world thinking about whatever, whatever. It's not till I got up there and started knowing who these people were that I found success. You have to network. I was in uh, the group chat with, I was chilling on the chat with all the New Orleans girls. And then I was like, well, let me go branch out and see what's going on. And I found Gade in them. And then I was talking to them. And then I was like, no, fuck that. And I just kind of did what I did over here. And I was like, well, let me go sit over here because I do know Savannah and I know these people. So I sit on Savannah panel. That's how I found Ev. I sit on this panel and I found this person. That's how I met Coochie. That's how I met all these people. Some of my new, some of them didn't. I had no Ashley. I'm going to go sit on her panel. What's going on over here? What y'all talking about? I ain't knew who they was talking about, what they was talking about, but I started, I started to learn. I get my input on stuff. And so that's how it grows. You know, it's not, it's, it's no secret. You're not doing nothing. You're not doing, you're not, you're, it's not, it doesn't, usually, usually if I'm doing a panel, I don't mind people sitting up there unless you're just up there being that, obviously. I'm not, you know, that's of course. But if you come up there and you're input into the conversation, most people don't mind. Now, now, I will tell you, you can run into some assholes that'll do just and say anything to you, I guess. But, yeah, but you had a file in the 40s, but you know, they wasn't over here. I I got, look, uh, listen, I would say about all the people in Sip Nation, about 50% didn't find me over here. About half found me over here and about half knew me about me from somewhere else. So it's like 50-50. Some of my big, some of my, some of my, some of my best people in my family and stuff like that, they found me over here. I feel like it's a longer journey if you're not messy. That might be true for all the family. I cannot dispute that. If you ain't messy, it might be a longer journey, but that doesn't mean impossible. And that doesn't mean you can't do it. It's so, it's, it's simple. It's, it's very simple. You follow the rules. It can get frustrating, but it's very doable. You have some of the most idiotic people I've ever seen in my life hitting nice quarters. Like there's no way possible some of these people should be doing what they're doing. So you telling me your smart self, your intelligent self, your common sense having self can't do it? You can do it. Don't tell me you can't do it. It's some of the dumbest, most foolish looking people I've ever seen in my life doing the thing that's have figured this out. And so if you're telling me these stupid because <laughs> figured it out, you can't, there's something wrong with you. Period. There's nothing after that. You can do this. You can, you can do this and you will do this. And thank y'all for the gifts. I appreciate y'all. Everybody that sent me a little something. You hear me? I appreciate y'all. Thank y'all so much. Yes, you can't do that. This is so simple. I don't think people are going to give me. You heard me shake it. I didn't hear what you said, Felicia. And Raven, if you think people ain't going to get you, they won't. You got to put that in your mind and they will. You have to look out of big like 21. <laughs> you got a big like 21. 21 do I live begging? I ain't too proud to beg. Okay. Closed mouths don't get fake. They don't. I'm, you know, I'm not a beggar, but listen, if I'm close to something and I'm going to get to that next thing, I'm going to ask for it. I'm not going to sit down and just look at it. I'm going to say, hold up, y'all. We need four shields or we need two treasures or we need whatever, whatever. I'm going to stay there and do that. We promote positive vibes only when we hit 40K in our first month. So it's possible. Period. There you go, Queen B. What's going on, Vixen? Vixen is a um, co-founder as well as an admin, an agency admin. Oh, you said you're coming to know us? Okay, that's cool. Hit me up when you get here. So she knows a lot about it, a lot about just kind of like what that is and how to do it. It can be heat. It can, okay, cool beans. It can be daunting. It can be overwhelming. It can be something that 
Yes, if you need me to do any of the classes for your team, let me know. Period, Vixen. I love Vixen. Is there any game from having the same agency and founder? Yes. Well, okay. Well, the experience. Um, for me, if you're in my agency, but you're in a different family, I don't, that's fine. I have no problem with that. You can do that. Um, for me, I tend to do bonuses for my agency and family members because it does help me on the family side with the combat parts, and it does help me uh, help the whole thing collectively. Like if you can have that one-stop shop, for me, it does. So, um, and so, cause I have a family admin, I have agency man admin, and both of those kind of intermingle. And so you could always, it just gives you the better experience in my opinion, if you have that one-stop shop. Do you have to know? You can be in somebody, I have a lot of people that's in some, somebody else's agency, but in my family. I have a lot of people that's in my agency, but not in my family, that are in somebody else's family. And that works for them. There's no right or wrong way to do it. It's kind of like depending on you. Um, if you're in both my agency and my family, it's not like you have VIP treatment or anything, because everybody, to me, everybody gets this. I try to treat everybody as fairly as possible, but it does help you overall because it kind of like helps us, helps me and helps you. If you are, it gets the one shop, one stop shop experience. You ha you have a lot of ways to get the information and stuff that you need. So it kind of gives you, um, I'm trying to see an example. The best example I can give you is this. Um, if you, I, I want to say not like Sam's Club. So that's not the thing. Best example I can give you is this. And this is the best analogy I can. And I'm coming up with this on the top of my head. But you know how like if you, you could, anybody could order from Amazon. And it, would, it doesn't matter. You want to order something from Amazon and you can get it and you can have a prime experience, whatever you want. But if you have Amazon Prime, you know, you, you can still order from Amazon. You're still paying the same price. You're still getting everything. But you're going to get the free shipping. <laughs> like, kind of that's the best way I can explain it. Um, So if you're both in my agency and my family, it's like you're Amazon Prime. And so you get the free shipping. Um, even though nothing's being shipped to you, you get the free shipping. But I do get bonuses and stuff for people that's in both. And I have ways to grandfather people and people that aren't. So I have certain things set up for people that are not in the world. They get bonuses too. So um, that's the best way I can explain it. It's kind of like that, um, but you don't have to. You can still order from Amazon. And a lot of information I give is good for anybody. Like um, if you want to join somebody, if you listen to what I'm talking about, if you want to join somebody as an agency or family, it's still good information. So that's the best way I can explain it. I wish there was another analogy that could break it down more because you're not really getting any extra extra. Um, but when I do have bonuses, I look for people that's in the family and the agency to give to first, of course. And then I go to the people that were kind of grandfather in and then that were been here for a while that would just happen to be in somebody else's agency but have always been in the family and then kind of yada, yada, yada. But if you're in both, uh, you get free shipping. <laughs> but you can still order no matter what. Um, and it's not a requirement either. You can you make this app what you want to make it. A lot of people think it's all messy and all this stuff like that. No, 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 no. You make Beagle what you want to make Beagle. You make this what you want to make this. You you can go and sit and do anything that you want, wherever you want, however you want to do it. This is your thing. I don't have restrictions about what you say or how you say it. Shake, I want to run my idea by you. I want to do my content on. Okay. Set your atmosphere. Yep. Who are you? Because you are definitely, yes, follow the host, tap the screen, share live. You are definitely um helpful. Who are you yelling at me, boy? Why are you not in my family? Very cute. You are very cute. You just earned yourself a follow. Yellow Mellow Bar. Where do I know your name from? I'm trying to see where I know your face. You're a, where I know your face from, actually. What are you? Who are you? <laughs> All right, so that's going to be the end of this video. Thank y'all for coming. Thank y'all for coming through and listening. If you have any other questions, hit me up at SipNationAgency.com or SipNationAgency at gmail.com or join our WhatsApp chat because we definitely talk about a lot of good stuff. So thank you. Y'all have